Hello and welcome to Dateline Lagos on Channels Television. I'm Ayo Tunde Balogun. Coming up on the program, Governor Sonwolu holds 7th Lagos Corporate Assembly, Lagos State holds Civil Service Insurance Week, and La Sepa seals facilities involved in gas emission. The Lagos State Governor, Babajide Sonwolu, took out time to meet with business leaders in the state at the 7th Lagos Corporate Assembly, announcing that a new hub of commerce at Kappa in Oshodi will be delivered to provide subsidized workspace for micro, small and medium enterprises in Lagos. Let's take a look. The Deputy Governor of Lagos State and... It's the 7th edition of Lagos Corporate Assembly, BOS Meets Business. Creating an enabling environment is the key to economic development. For this reason, the state government is meeting with the private sector in the state on how best to improve the business environment and help increase the GDP of the state. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to this. The Commissioner for Commerce, Industry and Cooperatives kickstarts the event. This assembly has become an advocacy platform where the state government and the business community converge to discuss issues of shared concerns with a view to promoting commerce and industry in Lagos State. I am happy to report that so far, this engagement has been able to reinvent and strengthen the relationship between the state government and the organized private sector. I must acknowledge that this continuing success is due in no small measure to your support, which has helped us improve in our service delivery towards the sustainable economic development of the state. There is no gain saying that sustainable development propels employment generation, improvement of standard of living, security of lives and property, to mention but a few. These economic development parameters are largely contingent on the existence of a robust economic development agenda, which draws upon the strengths and peculiarities of our collective will, intellectual abilities, and natural endowments. Ideas and information shared at events such as this prove an invaluable resource in the streamlining of this development agenda. The Lekki Free Zone is one area the government is taking advantage and explains the level of investment in that corridor. The free zone offers incentives such as exemption from all federal, state and local government taxes, duty and tax-free import on raw materials and components for goods destined for re-export, exemption from customs duties on the importation of capital goods, machinery, components, spare parts and so on. We have a strong presence of federal and state government MDAs uh, in the zone as well. So when you look at these key drivers, you can begin to form a picture of what that area is going to become like. So we also have the Lekki Deep Sea Port, which uh, is being developed to be the, the deepest and biggest seaport in West Africa. I believe that uh, we are about 16.5 meters deep on shore. The container terminal is being designed to support a throughput of about 2.7 TEUs, 20 foot equivalent units. This is huge when you consider the fact that Apapa is currently approaching 1 million a day. Some of the stakeholders in the industry make their presentation and prefer ideas on how to boost the state economy. As of the first half of the year, the association recorded a sharp decline in capacity utilization to 49.5% from 68.5% in the corresponding half year of 2019. Apapa Industrial Zone in the first half of 2020 also witnessed a sharp decline in capacity utilization to 40.5% from 69.5% from in the corresponding year of 2019. The capacity utilization of both Ikeja and Apapa Industrial Zones in the second half of 2020, stood at 59% and 64.2% respectively. This is a decline from 70.8% and 69.1% recorded for the second half of 2019. 
The appointment of trust by the Lagos State Committee on Abandoned Vehicles is highly disturbing. Trucks parked in the front of the manufacturing facilities awaiting of loading of the imported raw materials are being impounded as early as 6 a.m. And the companies are being subjected to pay fines for offenses they do not understand. Since the attention on this subject is needed, sir, to further advise our members' companies on the expectations of the committee. We encourage the state government to establish more programs that enable businesses to thrive, as this enables more compliance with tax payments, which in turn supports the state's IGR projections. The Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry wishes to propose to the government at both the federal and state levels the following recommendations. One, identify public assets. Government needs to carry out an official identification of its assets in terms of location, purpose, and usage to be contained in a national asset register. Two, determine the wealth of these assets. We have four kinds of assets in this country. Corporate assets, which should be securitized via public share issuance to raise equities. Second, physical assets, such as idle or underutilized properties, could be repurposed and redeveloped for commercialization to generate revenue. Third, your intangible assets, such as breaking government monopoly in the infrastructure sector. Railways, pipelines, power transmissions, etc., should be liberalized for investors to commit equity funds to these sectors. Governor Babajide Sonwolu takes the stage, explaining how government is supporting the people and other steps taken in making Lagos a 21st century economy. We've been able to train about 12,000 artisans directly, uh, and they've been able to place over 50% of them in direct jobs. They've been able to also help about 12,000 businesses through grants and all of that. They've supported about 150 new startups. We've done in region of about 42 new ones. We partner with three banks to put in place a fund of about 10 billion for women. And I'm glad to say that over 6,200 women have been supported directly um, in this area. We also have a 5 billion on the education sector side, which are targeted at small, you know, um, um, low funding schools, you know, low, low, um, we call them low fee based schools, not high end private schools, but these are low based you know, private schools. And we supported about 2,500 of them. Acknowledge the fact that the, the hope that we have in Kenya is working and is working well for you. The request is that we should do a lot, and we are certainly doing a lot. We are currently developing another one at Ocean, Kappa, right? That is a later up, and I can assure you that it will be commissioned by the first quarter of next year. We're installing 20,000 meters in various locations, various small businesses in the state. And we're going to be doing this with the two discos that we have in Lagos. Because of the regulatory environment, we cannot just bump in to either a good disco or a better disco. We have to work with them because they're also private sector driven. They put money on the table to get to those investors. So we're working together, but we have to build meters, and so we are working with them together to ensure that we can. You know, it's called once you know all of that is improved. What they have assured us is that they will also improve you know the energy take you know from, from, from the transmission lines and they can also guarantee minimum of 18 to 20 hours you know of steady power in a lot of these places that and we're looking at high population areas so that we can um, power start. But it doesn't take the fact that there is a lot of other sources of energy that we can explore. The Lagos Corporate Assembly is a platform for engaging businessmen and women and the state government is assuring the stakeholders that this is not just a talk show. All issues highlighted here will be well addressed. Four Lagos State staff have been gifted with cars and apartments during the State Civil Service Insurance Week and they have been asked to embrace appropriate insurance policies to avoid difficulty in accessing their benefits. 
In a bid to deepen insurance penetration among civil servants in Lagos State, the government organizes a maiden edition of its Insurance Week at the Adeyemi Burial Hall at Alausa in Lagos. The prospects have multiple insurance and life insurance policy. The civil servants get more informed about insurance policies. When you go through your brokers, that is where you get the best of advice on which company is very good to place your businesses with, on what premium is very commensurate and good for you, and it will also remind you when your policies are getting new. These are the duties, the services that your broker will provide for you free of charge. I think the members of Lagos State Civil Service should from now on think about taking the one insurance or the other, other than the motor insurance that we call the local here in Boja. We have moved past that. We are insuring assets. It's a, it's a kind of financial planning for all of us. That is what insurance really, really, really is in later. Even though the state government says it has paid $2 billion insurance premium to its employees in the last one year, it's also asking them to do more for themselves. Despite the huge investment of the state government on paying premium on behalf of the workforce, some of us don't even know. We don't even know that we have access when we have accidents in the course of duty to make claims. We don't even know, some ministries don't even send in the list of staff that dies in the course in doing service. They don't even send, send their letters to us. And by not sending, they are losing, their family members are losing a lot. And there are so many things that we can actually enjoy when we insure ourselves. Insurance is very, very, very important. Because as we leave our home, we engage in a lot of risk. We always say life itself is a risk. Just like it has been advised, let's engage brokers. We are saying that in addition to what government is doing to us as civil servants, we can do a lot for ourselves. Because in during the exercise, you know, sometimes we don't plan risks, it just happens. It just happens. We didn't know answers would come up. It happened. A lot of people lost investment, they lost money, they lost everything. When they started writing to government, pay us this, pay all that. So we want people out there to know that you can insure your shop. You can insure your products. As civil servants, you can insure your assets and insure your houses against fire. It's a different atmosphere, the grand finale of the insurance week. Everyone wants to be a part of the big day, including the traditional rulers. They are here to witness the locking winners of two brand new cars and a new home. Then the process begins. They carefully select the staff number of those submitted by the ministries. Eventually, there are four winners. The Commissioner for Finance and National Insurance Commission emphasized the essence of insurance. It is my hope that this event will serve as an eye opener to arrive a change of attitude among the public about the misconceptions surrounding insurance. It is a fact that no modern economy can achieve its full growth potential without the well developed and thriving insurance sector. The public stands to gain from insurance if public properties are adequately covered by insurance. Also, individuals are not let out of insurance benefit if they have a personal insurance cover. This is a great thing so that uh, Lagos State program. has done to insurance I industry. Um, the initiative is, uh, we salute the initiative. And we believe that uh, with what we have seen here today, You've been with the apathy right towards insurance will definitely uh, will be a thing of the past. The White People have seen that there are benefits in I taking insurance. 
they have seen that uh, Lagos State, being the commercial nerve of Nigeria, and, uh, have shown it as proof to the world that, that, that but for insurance, uh, things uh, wouldn't have been sustained I the way they are. The uh, it's very important to us that Lagos State is the taking this initiative, and we intend to take this to other parts of the country. Two senior and two junior staff were rewarded with cars and keys to their homes at Ikorodu, and the Lagos State government is using this opportunity to encourage everyone to get insured. Dear Lagosians, the second wave of the deadly coronavirus pandemic is here. Its new strain is easily transmitted and deadlier. Coronavirus symptoms are fever, dry cough, tiredness, difficulty in breathing. We can all prevent the spread of this virus through appropriate and regular use of face masks, avoiding close contact with people who are at high risk, washing our hands regularly with soap and running water, especially after visiting the toilet, before eating and after coughing or sneezing, using alcohol-based hand sanitizer, maintaining at least one and a half meters or five feet distance from anyone coughing or sneezing, covering our mouths with tissue while coughing or sneezing and thrashing the tissue. If you feel unwell and show symptoms of coronavirus or you notice anyone who does, please call the Lagos State Emergency Hotlines 08000 ECOMED or 0803-3356-5529. Many are dead. Don't fall victim or die in ignorance. Report now. Together, we will overcome this challenge. Igwegai Puleiko, Ajumoshini, Lagos State Government. Announcer. <laughs> The Lagos State Environmental Protection Agency, otherwise known as La Sepa, has sealed some steel companies involved in illegal gas emission in Ikorodu. Now, the agency asked others to desist from such acts or face the wrath of the law. The Lagos State Environmental Protection Agency, La Sepa, is on a working visit to Ikorodu. The team is here to stop gas emission released into the air by industries in the area. This is an example of air pollution carried out by these men. At the Dogunyo area of Ikorodu, the company failed to provide protective gears for workers, leaving them exposed to gas. And La Sepa team issues a stop work order to the steel company for contravening the environmental laws of the state. All the substances we are smelling is not safe for our health and even your health and the residents' health. We would have to stop what you are doing now and you would have to come to our office and have a new plan on how to cut iron and smelt iron. This is highly, highly unsafe. It is against the laws of Lagos State. It is against the laws of Lagos State Environmental Protection Agency. The general manager of La Sepa says such unlawful act will not be permitted. We would have to seal this factory and um, they would come up with a health and safety plan. Our fellow agencies will be invited to come here and access for safety, health management services, health promotion services, and even personal protective equipment we don't seem to see. But we are here for the environment, and there has been environmental infraction. We would have to give them a citation and ask them to come up with a plan to remediate the environment. This process here would stop immediately and we hope that this will serve as a deterrent to other people smelting iron with acetylene gas in the open air. It is dangerous, it is archaic, it is not being practiced anymore, and Lagos State will not accept it. <laughs> The team moves to another steel company, also in Ikorodu, where a stop work directive is also given. La Sepa conducted surveillance services over the last three days. And what we noticed is that a lot of the activities here are not complying with international and safety standards. 
there are environmentally friendly ways to carry out the business of recycling. Lagos State is promoting a circular economy. We encourage recycling, but not at the expense of human health or at the expense of environment. What we have noticed is that a lot of the machines are cake. They release carbon monoxide in excess excess quantities. They release carbon dioxide, we have SO2s, we have volatile organic compounds and this is not, the reason is not far-fetched. People like to cut corners. People would do the cheapest thing for maximum profit. But Lagos State is putting its foot down that the air will not be polluted by industrial activities anymore. Some residents say the activities of these steel companies is affecting their health. The atmosphere of this uh, uh, vicinity is so terrible because of the toxic from this company. There is a lot of companies within these places. There is a lot of toxic. At times, if you come out heading to this uh, Odona Johnson, the, the toxic, the, the smoke that is coming out from this place, one, you cannot even see where. You go to some of these houses, the buildings, most especially around the uh, Odonla or Dokekere, you will see that uh, those people who are living there, in fact, their lifespan will not be long because of the toxic waste. I call it toxic waste because if you are able to see it in the afternoon or sometime in the evening, you will not even see not even a kilometer, just some yards away. You'll be surprised for what you are seeing, for what is coming out from this iron industry. And I'm happy that you people are here to see for yourself and uh, the government be able to work on it. At times they, uh, they start around 11 p.m. at the wee hour of the day. And they can do this thing until around 5 a.m. And at times when we are having meetings here, Around nine day we start this thing and everywhere will be polluted. It's a thing of concern that whilst these industries know the best practices, they still choose to do these things without fear. But um, Lagos State means this project. Lagos State is serious about monitoring air quality. Lagos State is serious about stopping air pollution in Lagos State. And the major pollutants are well known to us. We also implore the general public, please visit our website. If you notice any obnoxious smell, see uncomfortable gas, or see particular matters in the air, visit La Sepa's website or visit our offices and we would move to work with you. A study by World Bank in 2019 in Lagos State showed that we had 48% premature deaths of children below five due to air pollution. 48% of children that died below the age of five died due to air pollution. And out of this 48%, 92% of them were children at the age of two. Pneumonia, bronchitis, upper respiratory tract infections. So apart from environmental impacts, there are also health impacts associated with air pollution. One of the air quality machines installed by the state government shows that there's an increase of air pollution. We have six machines in the environs of Lagos. We have one here, we have in Jankara, we have in Unilag, we have in Alimosho, we have one in La Sepa, and I think the last one around Agege. What these machines do is that it traps the quality of air it gives us specific measurements. It tells us where the pollution is coming from. It tells us the level that is dangerous to the environment from the dashboard, which is far away from here. So this machine has showed us repeatedly over the past um, couple of months that there's a high level of compounds in the air that shouldn't be in the air. The partic it measures particulate matter 2.5 and particulate matter 10. This, um, to explain particulate matter, is like saying particles in the air. 
Our lungs are not made to filter particles. It's made to filter oxygen. When we start breathing in soot and particles, we're exposing ourselves to pneumonia. We're exposing ourselves to asbestosis. We're exposing ourselves to all sorts of respiratory diseases. And not only respiratory diseases, we start to think of the horrible cancers, it is not only smoking that causes cancer. Air pollution is a cause of death. This has been established in many studies. And Mr. Babajide Somolu's administration is determined to tackle this menace, to combat global warming, combat climate change, but most importantly, secure the health of human beings and the environment in Lagos State. Residents have been asked to report cases of air pollution and join hands with the government to stop practices that affect the environment. Well, that's the program for this week. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Ayotunde Balogun. Until next time, please stay safe.